In this video, we're gonna go over the wiring kit for solar integration into the Goal Zero Yeti system. So this is just gonna lay the foundation for your wiring from your solar panels on your roof to charge your Goal Zero system in the back of the van. The tools that you'll need are a power drill, uh, drill bits for pilot holes, specifically a 330 seconds works, a step bit or half inch hole saw, a jigsaw or air saw for your straight cuts, a die grinder or a, a fine file for cleaning up the edges of your cuts, deburring tool, a punch for uh, marking your pilot holes, Phillips head screwdriver, isopropyl alcohol, paper towels, a sharpie, some painter's tape, rust preventative, Loctite, silicone or some other type of sprayed lubricant for passing the wires through the gland. Before you start this insul installation, it's a good idea to take your scan strut solar gland and put it in the freezer uh, for at least a couple hours. So in this kit, you'll find your solar wiring and your protective sleeve for on top of the roof that goes from your solar panels to the gland. Then you'll see your scan, scan strut solar gland. You'll have your duplex wiring that's for running inside of the van from the solar, solar gland to the Yeti. Uh, butt connectors to connect all that together and then your final run of wiring with an Anderson connection to plug into the Goal Zero. So we're going to start up on the roof here. The first thing to do is clean the, the area. Uh, this kit is meant to put the solar gland in this general area at the front of the van so uh, it doesn't need to be exact but but this general area that that Doug is cleaning up is, is where you're going to work. The other thing uh, that's a good idea is to take your duplex wiring and run it inside of the van. Uh, this, this system is set up so that in a Sprinter 170 or 144, there's enough duplex wiring to run from this gland location uh, along the roof line and then back to a goal zero, which would be located at the back driver's side of the van. If you're putting your goal zero in a different location, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have enough duplex wiring to get from the solar gland to your goal zero. So, you, so right here, we just put some tape in the area. This is really just to, to protect the roof of the van for uh, when you're running tools over it and stuff like that, keep scratches from happening. Uh, and then we're locating the, uh, the solar gland area. We're gonna use it as a template for our pilot holes. We usually try to center in between the corrugations of the roof there and line up the front edge with the front, uh, or the front end of the solar gland with the front edge of the, um, of the factory roof rail and we're just tracing out all the areas with a marker that need to be cut or drilled. Now we're going through and we're taking our punch to mark the holes. Uh, the punch is kind of nice because it actually helps the keep the drill bit from drifting. And he's marking all of the holes that he plans to start with the drill bit, including the ends of the large center cutout uh, that he's gonna be using the hole saw for. This is using our 330 seconds bit. We're just dr drilling some pilot holes for all the various screws that are used to, to mount the scan strut gland. Okay, now we're coming in with the step bit or the hole saw in this area. This is gonna, gonna drill out the, the ends of the actual gland hole here. And then from there, you just need to uh, connect the straight lines to, to create your oval cutout. If you drift over the line slightly, it's not that big of a deal. You don't wanna go too far outside of it because then you're gonna get into the area that the, the gasket of the solar gland actually needs to, to compress onto the roof. But um, if you stick to your line and, and just try to keep it clean, you'll be fine. All right, coming in, connecting, connecting those two cutouts uh, to create the final cutout for the gland here. You can see this is where the, the painter's tape on the roof really comes into play to protect the roof from the, from the base of the jigsaw. So 
So Doug came in here with a die grinder. If you don't have a die grinder, a file works here as well. He's just cleaning up the edge of the cut so there's no sharp edges or burrs or anything like that. At this point, you can re remove the painter's tape because we're done uh, cutting holes and drilling holes. So we came in here and did a second pass uh, with a deburring tool just to get some of the bigger little shards that uh, that the die grinder missed. You may or may not need to do that. And now we're gonna come in here and uh, put some rust proof uh, sealant on the edges of the cuts and our pilot holes. Um, this is the same rust proof that we use with our uh, interior conversion kit. It doesn't necessarily need to be this. Um, some sort of automotive enamel that you can put on with a brush. Uh, really anything that's just gonna seal the edge uh, will do, will do a good job. Now it's time to stick on the first gasket for the scan strut gland. Um, you just peel that backing off and it's got an adhesive on it. It's a good idea to come back through and wipe the area clean one more time to uh, get rid of uh, any, any grime on your hands or anything that may have been left behind when you were working in the area. And you're placing that, this gasket to line up with the pilot holes and the, uh, the, the gland hole uh, as best you can and you can press down firmly to, to ensure a good seal. Just checking uh, for alignment of our pilot holes with this base plate here. So now we're going to screw down the the base plate for the solar gland. This this kind of provides the foundation for the rest of the solar gland to to attach to. Uh, we're using a silicone sealant uh, on the threads of the screws to make sure that those particular holes get sealed up and prevent any water from getting in. And you'll notice we're using a, a screwdriver, a hand tool for this. Uh, because it's going into the sheet metal of the van, you just want to be able to have uh, control over how tight that's that's going in. Uh, if you use a power tool and it's set too high, uh, you can easily kind of blow out the hole that the screw is going into and then you got to do a whole bunch of other stuff to fix it. So best to just use a hand tool for this and, and uh, tighten them down until they're good and firm, uh, hand tight. All right, so these are just going, uh, screwing down to the base plate and you can put a little bit of your Loctite on these screws to make sure that they stay tight. Now it's time to drill the holes for your solar wiring. Uh, basically what, we're, what you're doing is trying to find a drill bit size that's just barely uh, smaller than the width of the wire that's going through. So um, the wire that's going through again is the, the solar wiring that has that solar connection on the one end, it's the, the black wiring, um, not the Anderson connection that goes into the goal zero. So in this case, a 1564 bit works well and we're just spacing those holes out appropriately. Um, you can and spray a little bit of that lubricant on the wire. You can spray a little bit right there in the hole as well. 
and that's just going to aid in fitting the um, fitting the wire through that through that gland. So basically, if you can if you can get it through and it's really tight, then you know you know you're good. Um, if it fits through really really loose, then uh, the hole is a little bit too big. But uh, provided you you don't go up and hold in drill bit size, you shouldn't have to worry about that. So you can use the wire chase uh, like the rest of the wiring kit in your adventure wagon uh, system to uh, to run this solar wiring along the driver's side top corner and you're going to run it back to the c pillar where the first vertical l track and a frame and you're going to run it down that open gap the same way you you used it for the uh, the cabin wiring harness and to your lower horizontal structure there and then back towards your uh, fuse block location. Basically, you're tracing the other wiring uh, that comes with the Adventure Wagon kit. Okay, so Doug's just stripping the, uh, the ends of the duplex wiring. Uh, to make our connections to the cable that came through the roof and then eventually the, the connection that's going to go um, into the goal zero as well. You only need to strip off a maximum of maybe a quarter inch of the insulation off the end of the wire. And now we're going to get our butt connectors, uh, crimp them onto the duplex wiring. Sometimes helps to twist the, uh, twist the strands of wiring together, it fits into the uh, butt connector a little bit better. All right, you just want to make sure that that cable line uh, seats all the way as far as it can go into the butt connector. Crimp that side. Do the other thing with your uh, with your negative wire. to the cables coming in through the solar gland. These cables are gonna be marked positive and negative. Red is positive, obviously. Black is negative. and same procedure for fitting, for fitting these into the butt connectors. And we'll come through and heat shrink those with the heat gun. And repeat that process for the connections at the back uh, leading into uh, the wiring that goes into the goal zero. Uh, if you do have a bunch of extra duplex wiring and you don't want to leave it in your wall cavity, you can, you can cut it to the length that you need. Um, you can just kind of coil it up and fit it into the wall cavity too if you think there's a chance you might move your goal zero in the future or you might want to extend the wiring for some reason. Okay, now it's time to plug it into your goal zero. Uh, before you do that, you're gonna replace your wall panel and you can feed that uh, wiring connection through the backside of the grommet uh, of your wall panel. And this is your solar input connection right there on the front, kind of front uh, left side. Just click your Anderson connector right into there. 
tidy up your cable end and you're done.